Hey there, I'm Dean Perrine of JSA and welcome to another special edition of JSA TV. Pull up any news site and you'll find evidence that cybersecurity threats are on the rise. Cybersecurity is top of mind for the world's largest businesses, businesses who are being hit with ransomware schemes and DDoS attacks with increasing severity and frequency. A recent study by Telia Carrier reports that 68% of businesses experienced a DDoS attack in the last 12 months and 60% of the leaders have increased their security investments as a result of the pandemic. Telia Carrier's chief evangelist and my new friend Matthias Friedstrom is here again to explain how your choice of internet service providers can impact your internet security. Matthias, it is always great to see you. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, Dean, it's always a pleasure to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's start at the, at the very, very top. Uh, what are the main security concerns for enterprises with regards to network security or connectivity? Yeah, no, I think, you know, you mentioned a few in there and I think, you know, if we disregard applications that can go wrong and so on, and we look at the network at least, you know, I think you're obviously apart from your own people that can always <laughs> make trouble for your own network. I think actually DDoS attacks, as you talked about, is the biggest problem. And we can see that continues increasing, you know, and DDoS attacks comes in many shapes or forms. I think the most common one is when you're absolutely overloaded with traffic from anywhere in the world to your own web-based pages or so on, and you can't use them, they stop working. And I think really that's the main concern in terms of the network security problems we have. Very good. So why does the choice of ISP matter for internet security? No, I think, you know, many ISPs can help you with these type of protections against DDoS attacks. I think, you know, the way an ISP runs their services and they can actually do this, you know, and, and if I look at our own network, what we do is we look for anomalies in the traffic, you know, making sure that traffic patterns are the same every day. And if as soon as we see something wrong, we start to send those packages to the sort of a black hole in the internet, you know, taking them away. And I think many ISPs can do this for their enterprise customers. I think some of them just ignore and they let everything through their network, not looking at the traffic itself. And I think, you know, the choice of your ISP can have a very big effect on, on your protection level. So what are some of the considerations then that uh, someone might make when evaluating an internet provider? I think, I think, you know, one thing they should look at is, you know, how much of the network do you own yourself that, that you actually control? You know, if you're a small ISP that actually own only a very local network in the neighborhood, there's not that much you can do. But if you connect yourself to a large internet service provider that can actually protect these type of attacks all over the place, pretty much over continents, you know, that's a very good choice of going with one of them, you know. So let's make sure you connect to someone who's very well connected to other networks and actually own most of their own network. I think those are two priorities you can make. Excellent, excellent. So earlier I referenced a report by, by you folks um, that uh, you put out some key facts on cybersecurity, but uh, what were some of the, the most surprising numbers for you when you when you read that survey? Yeah, no, I think, I think the number you talked about and also the fact that at least 78% of all the enterprises we investigated had had some type of attack and yeah. some of them even up to hundreds attacks during the last 12 months. And as you said, 68% uh, 68 of them had a DDoS attack with 55% of them being a ransom attack, which I was very surprised of. I've heard about them, but you never really understand what they are. You know, that's when people demand a payment to lo unlock your computers or, or that type of stuff. Uh, 56 percent that's more than half that's just really surprised me and i think one other key fact i saw there in there was that a number of enterprises are still kind of in the blue about their ddos protection scheme or whatever they can have really a number of them have a good protection even some of them in-house themselves but there's still a lot of them out there that's just keep their fingers crossed that they won't be attacked and really are, have no clue how to do it when when that could happen you know no, absolutely. Uh, fingers crossed, it just ain't going to work right now. Um, but um, also for our viewers who would like to know more about this report, you can grab a link uh, to that, that report in this video, this very video's description. So go ahead and, and uh, click on that. And then finally, Matthias, um, what does the future, <laughs> I ask this question a lot, but it's one of my favorites, you know, what does the future of internet security look like? 
No, I think I think you know that the attackers are always going to be there. You know, there will be bad people out there. So I think the more we can spread the word about these things, the more we can uh, engage our enterprise customers in these type of thinkings. I think all of us together can protect the networks. We can't do it alone. Enterprises can't do it alone. We need to work together. And I think that's the future of security, really. The whole ecosystem needs to jump in here, you know. I don't think people can still, as you said, you know, keep their fingers crossed and hope that no one will attack them. People will attack them. But there are ways of, of working out this together. But we can only do it together, you know. If every network is protected, then they can't attack from anywhere. The sort of weakest link is always in there. And, and if someone says, you know, yeah, that's not for me. You know, that's where their next attack is going to happen. So together we can do it. And I think that's the future. Outstanding. A uh, future of togetherness. I love it. I love it. Well, Matthias, that is all we have time for today. Well, thank you very much, Matthias, for joining us. It is always a pleasure to see you. And uh, viewers, you can check out this video description for more great videos featuring Matthias. And we'll see you the next time on JSA TV. Thank you very much.